All right, David Diskett from Karma. I'll call this an ultimate guide how to set up uh, rewards and how rewards work from uh, from perspective of administrator. So we do have a guide in place, but it's more about automated rewards and people get uh, ask questions about how rewards work in general. So this is the complete guide. Um, first of all, there's a couple of things I'd like to clear before we start doing the actual guide. So if you have used Karma for a while and kind of give Karma around and then enable the rewards module, then you'd see that you might have like hundreds of points, but no coins, or maybe like five coins and things like that. And you're like, oh, what's going on? Why do I have two different balances? Well, um, you can actually use Karma without, you know, having a rewards module enabled. And that's why you have those points. But then if you'd like to get it enabled at a certain stage, that's when you will have, or your employees will have accumulating coins. So you don't have coins beforehand and you do when you add your first reward. So just, just bear that in mind. The second uh, that I'd like to clear out first is budgeting. So we get a lot of, we receive a lot of questions about how to budget the rewards. And the easiest way, so you, you can go anywhere, you can, you, can, you can think about any system that you'd like, but the ones that we recommend and the ones that we came up with, it's pretty simple. So let's say all you have to think about is your budget per person per month. That's it, one figure. Your budget per person per month. Typically, we see numbers from 20 to 50, let's say US dollars. You can be located anywhere in the, in the world. So it could be euros, could be pesos, could be pounds. It doesn't really matter. But for this particular example, I'm thinking about US dollars. And, and you might think about the US dollars as well, but just kind of like convert them in your local currency, but still tied up to the US dollars. Um, just, just advice. So let's say it's $20 per person per month. So you give that to your employees as their limit meaning that they would not be able to give out more than their individual limit. In that case, your overall budget for month would never be exceeded. And then you can safely set the price of your rewards, just dollar to a coin. This is very straightforward. Why? You can go a little bit more, you know, like coins, but then the value will drop or the other way around, it'll rise. But just this dollar to a coin is a very straightforward way of how to set up the budget for rewards. So we got that cleared out. Let's have a look at the rewards module. A few things that we have in our rewards module. First of all, we need to make a decision. Would you like to have a bonus? It's, it's a thing that we used to have in our product for a while and it still works. It's still a great feature. We, we use it for our company. So bonus is a nice way how you can distribute a certain number of coins uh, by some three examples. So let's say at the end of the period, you'd like at the end of a month, if it's a monthly bonus, quarterly bonus at the end of a quarter, you'd like to distribute a certain number of coins to your uh, to your employees, let's say 100. And then you have different um, types of that distribution. So you have based on karma share, karma share meaning, let's say we will still keep the leaderboard, right? And then at that leaderboard, let me show you, uh, actually, that'll be, will be easier. So if we go under the uh, under the receive karma, um, under the um, oh, sorry that that is in rewards module. Um, so we have right there we have bonus shares. So it depends who is at the top of the leaderboard. Let's say Sam in this example, he'll get twenty three percent because he received as much karma as he could. And then someone at the top of the leaderboard, like Sarah, he'll still receive six point one percent. So out of the hundred coins, they'll distribute based on the karma shares. You can distribute that equally. Each one of them would get a certain number of like okay, 20 employees, 100 coins, so each one of them would get five. Or you could just set up that the bonuses automatically just gives them a certain number of coins. And that'll be, if you'll say 10, at the end of the period, everyone will receive 10 coins. So this is the bonus. Then when you set up a person who's going to be responsible for rewards fulfillment, uh, and that depends what sort of system will you use in place? Will you use our automated system or will you handle rewards yourself? If you use our automated system, then you don't have to worry about that. You could still, you know, like send user fulfillment notifications via email. If that's possible, have your email. But otherwise, you know, we handle the fulfillment. But if we don't handle your fulfillment, then you do it yourself and then you set up that through your roles. So you find someone who's your rewards fulfillment champion, edit, and give them rewards fulfillment. That, that means they'll receive a Slack notification and an email notification once reward will be received, redeemed. So let's go back to the rewards. So you have three different options how to set up the rewards. You could set up the automated reward, you could set up uh, an individual reward and a team reward. So our 
automated rewards are automated. So I'll, I'll try to place a link in this particular part of the video that'll lead you to the guide about the automated rewards. But in a few words, uh, you create a reward, you connect your credit card, comes a 10% surcharge to cover your credit card fees. But when someone redeems that automated reward, straight away they receive the gift card credit and then can go to our provider's website and just select one of the hundreds of gift cards that we, they have there. You don't have to worry about anything. All handled by ourselves. If the card is not getting delivered, we take care of that. Your credit card fees are all covered. It's all at the uh, the modest ten percent surcharge. But if you decide that you'd like to handle your rewards yourself, so when you add your reward, select regular reward, um, and then just make sure that you make the decision: is that reward unlimited, or you just have one only in stock? So this this particular market is for that. So you place the title. I won't put anything sensible there right now. Just save some time. Put description, category, few categories. They're not editable yet, but they will be soon. So maybe work perks, price and karma. Think about your budget. Okay, so let's say this particular reward is about $5. I'm on dollar to dollar budget, dollar to coin budget. So we we'll put five. Uh, a comment is required. Sometimes, you know, like uh, delivery details or what size of a t-shirt and things like that. So you can put that. And the person when they redeem a reward, you could put that in the description saying like, please provide the size of a t-shirt. And then they will need to provide a comment when they redeem a reward. So you save that. That's it. It's all saved. The other type of reward is a team reward. A uh, good example of that is like a team lunch, um, a donation to charity. So how that works, everyone would chip in to that reward towards the bigger goal. So everyone can, you know, set a certain number of coins. So let's, let's, let's give you an example here. So you click contribute. Uh, your contribution, so 10 is the goal. Okay, I feel generous, five. Uh, put a comment, something like go, 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 and then contribute. So that brings us up to um, to completion. As an administrator, you can re force redeem. Let's say uh, your reward is 100, and then you know people just go to 95 and just don't go anywhere. And you're like, okay guys, 95 is good enough. Click force redeem, and that redeems that reward for everyone in the team. An individual reward um, so click that redeem your member we've you can't redeem it now because we require a comment so we asked that in, in when we set it up so you put a comment click redeem a person will receive a notification in slack saying like hey Zachary uh, redeem rewards they'll receive an email saying what kind of rewards so the person responsible for rewards comes in here saying like okay oh Zachary redeemed that reward cool uh, send a slack message saying like hey Zachary would you provide me some details or here's how you can get that reward once they're done everyone that got the rewards click fulfill fulfill and that finalizes the balances um, so you could always see your own balance from a balance sheet it's right there and yeah nice and simple this is a very quick guide so I really try to stay under 10 minutes um, but just give you an idea how the rewards work from you know like from a bonus perspective what kind of rewards how to set up the budget and uh, and things like that who's responsible for the rewards fulfillment and how you to get notifications if you have any more questions feel free to contact us and if i can improve this guide somehow i'd love to hear feedback have a great day and have a great karma thank you bye, -bye.